Welcome to Oliver and Lucas's educational travel series. In this week's episode, we're going to see the animals that have been rescued and cared for by La Basal Wildlife Sanctuary in Liberia. We are going to learn why it is important to not keep wildlife as pets and the importance of biodiversity and conservation. La Barsa Wildlife Sanctuary is a place where injured and vulnerable animals are saved and cared for. It is a place where wildlife are nurtured until they are strong enough to be released back into the wild. Liberia recently made it illegal to keep wildlife animals as pets or to eat their meat, so La Barsa Wildlife Sanctuary was created as a place for people to hand over wildlife they have kept as pets. Take for example these cute cuddly monkeys. You might be wondering what is wrong with taking them home and keeping them as pets. The simple answer is that monkeys were not born to live in our homes but to live with other monkeys. A monkey will suffer as they need to be free to roam in their natural environment and not be trapped at home with humans. Monkeys are social animals like humans and they should be with other monkeys. When you take a monkey home, you are separating it from its family and so the monkey will suffer. Now, let's explore the sanctuary to see all the animals that have been rescued. But don't touch the animal, don't feed them, no shouting, no running. The sanctuary runs educational tours to teach people about the importance of conserving and protecting wildlife. The tours are used to help people understand that wildlife needs to stay in the wild and not trapped at home with us so that we can keep them as pets. So here we have the Suti mange bees. Most uh, monkeys people keep as pets in Liberia. They are both very popular. Uh, Most of the wildlife here have been removed from people's homes where they were kept as pets or saved from being used as bushmeat. Once they are here, they are cared for, restored to health, and then released back into the wild. So the monkeys also, they have sound of communication. If they show their teeth, oh, yeah. it means aggression. They try to tell you, get away, this is my territory, I in charge. And then if they show their butt, it means submission. I know I look silly, but I'm actually trying to show my teeth back to the monkeys as a sign of communication, but I don't think it worked. Another reason it is important to protect wildlife is to protect biodiversity. Biodiversity is all the different variety of life on Earth that make up our natural world. They work together in ecosystems to maintain balance and support life. Everything is connected and dependent on each other. And so, if we keep hurting our wildlife, we will hurt ourselves. Take for example penguins. They are shy and gentle creatures that are unfortunately at risk of dying out and becoming extinct. This will affect us all because penguins eat termites. Termites are the insects that eat all the wood that our homes are made of. So if we don't have penguins, we have nobody to eat the termites. If there is nobody to eat all the termites, then the termites will eat all the wood. And so, by conserving wildlife, we are conserving our homes. Healthy ecosystems allow us to survive, get enough food to eat, and make a living. When the balance is lost, Species disappear or fall in number. Ecosystems and people suffer.
Yes, they eat fruits, they eat vegetables, they eat seeds and nuts. They eat pumpkin, they eat sugar cane, they eat papaya, apple, then they eat peanuts. Sometimes they eat leaves, like cabbage and potato greens. This one is a dominant monkey in this group. So Jago, <laughs> Jago gave us pet when he was about a week old up to six years. All the time, he was alone. And remember the monkeys are social animals you need to interact with other monkeys. So Jack didn't learn. Though he know the sound of communication, but he misinterpreted them. You will see he will show a teeth to you and he show a butt, which means he's like he's confused. <laughs> Why would he show a butt? Showing butt means submission. It's like showing respect. It's because they're crazy. No. Nah. They try to communicate with you, but you don't understand. They try to talk with their butts. Yeah. <laughs> well, they talk from their butt and their feet. <laughs> Before we go, come back to So here, we have the Cambios monkey, the green monkey, and the lesser spot nose monkey. It's so cute. Huh? It's so cute, and I want to take one home. No. Nobody allowed to take them. Did you put them into the cage? Like into this place? The monkeys? Yeah. Did you feed the monkeys broccoli? Oh uh, no. Oh. No. Which is, this, which is the youngest monkey? The smallest? The youngest monkey is... That one? Yeah. There was a monkey there and then another monkey there. The monkey at the bottom was grabbing on the top monkey's tail. Yeah. They will play at time, they will fight at time, and sometimes we have to separate them. I heard one laughing. Laughing? Yes. No, you're just making a sound. What are you choking? No. An acorn. I found a nut. Ah, uh, my feet burying it. Okay. You take me on. We have a patas monkeys. The patas monkeys are not native to Liberia. You will find them in the neighboring country, Guinea, Sierra and Ivory Coast. And the patas monkeys are the fastest monkeys in the world. And that's mom. Yeah, mom and baby. And a baby. Yeah. And his name is Monkey Delicious. Did I smack butts? <laughs> All the monkeys here are orphans as they have been taken away from their families to be kept as pets by humans. So the monkeys here have not had the experience that monkeys in the wild have. They didn't get to learn from their parents how to feed or protect themselves from predators. Whoa. That is the West African dwarf crocodile. So for the crocodiles, like every animal you will see here today were taken from the forest when they were baby. We hope this video helps you understand why it's important to protect our wildlife. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more educational videos for kids.